Shout out to Carl Kish. This was my last video tonight. Shout out to Carl Kish. Hell oh, yeah. About finished with this. It's about time. Man, I don't know if you guys ever seen this. For the few for the past several days I've been watching the package with Gene Hackman called the package. It's kind of an interesting I've been a Gene Hackman uh as far as he's a good actor, but he had a shotgun on the back of him. I was like, it's pretty cool. I like guns. I go to shooting range, not at work here. Protection, nine millimeter go off, boom. Three eighty go off, boom. Twenty two go off. It's like a cap gun. But when you're talking about a forty five or above a forty five, I need ear protection. If I'm close to a forty five, yeah, forty five and greater, I need ear protection. But I'm a beast. I could handle up to a forty with no ear protection. It's pretty beasty. I'm a fucking soldier. That's what separates the boys from the men. You take a 40, you about arm length for me, shoot a 40. I don't need no hearing protection. I can, but anything of 45 or above, I'm going to need hearing protection. Depending on how far away you are from me. But if you're like 30 feet away with shooting off a 45, like 35, 40 feet, I don't need hearing. But I'm saying, like, two feet away, if you shoot a 45, I'm going to put on hearing protection. Ear protection, I mean, hearing protection. But anything 45 or above, I, I can't be beside someone without putting on hearing protection. But if it's a 45, it's a, if it's a 40 or less, I don't need no hearing protection. I've already done it before. I went shooting out in the backyard with John... We were shooting guns. Uh, Wild Bill, Wild Bill's place. Need no hearing protection. I was drinking. I bought my bow and arrow. Not the pink one. I fu I threw the pink shit away. You no know, pink bow and arrow. Fuck that. But man, fuck this. I like guns. I I rather go to a shooting range and go to archery. p.m. Getting my buzz going. Damn. I gotta say that girl. Ashley. She's hot. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you though, Ashley. I know you're. Wa I know you're watching this, Ashley. The only thing that turned me off about you was you told me one time you get sent me a wart. It was like pimples or warts on my phone. I was like, Ew. HPV. That scared me. When you, then one night, it was like 2 in the morning, you were talking about cheating on your husband or something, like you were with this other dude. Sleazy, man. To me... I ain't gonna be real. That's like sleazy, like sleeping with, like being easy, like a slut. I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to catch STD. See, that's what's scared me. I'm gonna be real honest with you, Ashley. But you're beautiful. You have a pretty cheeks, pretty eyes, pretty face. You're a pretty female. You're a pretty, you're a pretty lady. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that. You got be magnificent eyes. You have pretty German. Uh, uh, German genes or German uh, ethnic looks to you. You're, you're, you're attractive. You're sexy. You're very attractive, Ashley. But certain things that I heard coming from you and the pictures you sent it's kind of scared, scared me. Like HPV. No, no dude wants to. It's like saying I got herpes, like gonorrhea. Like, I ain't trying to catch that shit. Yeah, yeah, you turned me on. You're a, you're a cute girl. I ain't trying to catch a disease, though. I mean, I, I get it. You're married. I ain't trying to... I'm not sitting here saying I want to sleep with you. Hell, if I had the chance, I would like to. Because you're hot. You're a hot chick. But there's certain things you... 
revealed to me that made me like forgive me if I offended you and put you on the spot and made you piss you off I mean you know and I I understand if you don't never will forgive me if you probably want to kick my ass and it might turn me on I like girls I like the idea of a girl kicking my ass I like a girl to hog tie me and gag me I paid a lot of money for that No, but I'm all kidding aside, you know, I'm just being, I just wanted to clear it up with you and tell you how it is. I mean, as a human being, you have a good, I like how you, you've you got a good personality. You're a cute kid, you're, I shouldn't say kid, you're, you're a lot younger than I am, but, okay, it fucking is what it is. Ugh. It's not time to wrap this up. Just so, uh, wanted to look, just I just felt like saying that about Ashley, but I mean I took you off Facebook. It's no hard feelings, nothing personal. You want to add me back? It's your freedom. I know you said your mom was going through cancer and shit. That sucks. I've, I've known a lot of people through either my mom's friends or my mom's friends had a lot of them had cancer. I'm, Shit happens. Crap happens. I mean, it's the man upstairs decides what our fate is. If there is a man upstairs, I mean, I'm more like nihilist, atheist, like fucking. It is. I mean, life fucking is atrocious. We're sucks for males that never get satisfaction that's why we drink join the club this is my club only memberships if you're a, a dumbass get the hell out of it don't subscribe don't hit like unsubscribe to me if you ain't in my club from now on this is going to be a club real men if you ain't about it I'll unblock. I blocked a few people. I'm gonna unblock them. I plan on unblocking Vorbox and Lifeguard. I ain't no wussy. I'll take it how it is. If they want to be a, act like a act like a fool and a jerk, I can handle that because this is a club. But I'm the person in charge, and if I don't like you, I could bounce you out, like block. So convince me. Because till then, you're going to stay blocked. Like a country club. I don't have time for your stupid nonsense. Well, games. I ain't, I ain't here to play games. This is a club. A beer club. Cheers to Tommy Lee Jones. Cheers to me. I'm a renegade. I'm a cool ass motherfucker.